Welcome to understanditnow.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to display an interactive logon uh, message for Active Directory users within your company domain. So, the first thing we're going to do is go to Active Directory Users and Computers. We'll click on Start, Administrative Tools, and then uh, Active Directory Users and Computers. Okay, and I'm, here is uh, my domain, widgetcorp.com. I'm going to go ahead and right click on that and select Properties. Then I'm going to select the Group Policy tab and within there I'll select my default domain policy. Next I'll click on Edit. And under the Group Policy Object Editor we want to go under Computer Configuration, Windows Settings, Security Settings, then Local Policies, and then Security Options and let me expand this a little bit and what we want to do is scroll down to the section where you'll see interactive logon you see right here and I am looking for the first part portion which is the message title for users attempting to log on that'll be the message that's displayed like up in this title bar like how this is right here so I'll go ahead and I'll double click on that I'll define the policy setting I'll say um, uh, let's see we'll call it widget corp uh, media standards policy and I'll click apply then I'll do the same for uh, the actual body of the message I double clicked on that and then I'll say uh, you probably have to get some information from um, your HR manager or uh, uh, somebody higher up in the company but uh, this is where you would display the message so you could say something like you are using company equipment so be good obviously you'd have some more legal terminology in there but you get the idea so we're gonna go ahead and click apply and then OK and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna close this because now we're finished in here and click OK one more time now typically you'd want to reboot the server for the policy to take effect but if there's people uh, that are logged on uh, you can't be rebooting the server in the middle of the day and nobody wants to be coming in super early or staying really late to do it so uh, one method to go around that is to force a group policy update by uh, uh, via the command line so I'm gonna go ahead and click on start and then I'll open up the command prompt and I'll type in GP update a space a forward slash and the word force click enter now it's refreshing the policies okay and I'll go ahead and exit out of there and I'll close my Active Directory users and computers now we're gonna go to a Windows 7 computer and I'm gonna go ahead and do a control delete and you can see here hello from Tom hello you're using this equipment company equipment so be good so as you can see this is our uh, logon message but at least the, all your company users will, will get a message displaying what they should or should not be doing uh, with their company computer equipment. If you'd like to see how this is done in Windows 2008 version, go over to understanditnow.com. That's understandITnow.com. And uh, join up for the free membership access. And uh, I'll have a video in there on how to do it with Windows 2008. Uh, that concludes this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, look forward to seeing you again. Thanks.